Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I made this fall rustic wreath using extra supplies of greenery that I had from Dollar Tree as well as a little bit from Michaels and Target. So first what I did was basically separate all the different greeneries that I did have in my um, crafting box of just extra supplies from different crafts that I've done throughout the year. And what I did was once I um, divided all of them up, I started cutting them into individual leaves or pieces. Um, that way I could add them in different areas of my wreath. So if you don't have an extra crafting stash like I do, you can easily go to Dollar Tree and just pick out a few different greeneries or any crafting store or floral store that you may like and just pick out a few different greeneries. And like I said, just go ahead and cut them um, leaf by leaf or just in different stems. Once I decided which ones I was using and then I did decide to use some pine cones as well, um, I just started with one leaf that I had and it just started going from there. So basically what I did first was get the one that had the most of the greenery and I decided to use that as my base which were these um, leaf greenery stems from um, Target and they came four in a pack. So all I did was just start gluing them onto my wreath. And as you can see, I left my wreath the natural color that it came in, but you can paint it any color you like. So this year for fall and I think for Christmas, not too sure yet, but for fall for sure, I'm gonna go for that more natural rustic look of um, decor so this was perfect for what I was aiming for you know I just want that more natural look I don't know if you want to call it rustic or more modern but um, I think it's more of like a rustic farmhouse style for me so all I did was just add the ba the main base which was the one that I had the most greenery of then I just started cutting little leaves and different greenery um, by the stem and just hot gluing them all around in random places just until I was happy with what I had and filled it all up. And I decided to just make um, the greenery on one side, but you can easily fill up your entire wreath with the greenery. Let me know in the comments below what kind of fall decor are you aiming to, to do this year for your home. Here I'm adding some, um, again, just different greenery that I had, just bits and pieces of leaves. This one's a lamb ear. I believe I got these at Walmart. So like I said, this is perfect for someone who has a lot of different greenery from different projects like I do. Um, but again, you can easily make this by just adding some greenery. Here are some samples of pictures that I did see on Pinterest that um, gave me the inspiration of how to make mine. know all I'm going to add are some ferns um, leaves that again these are from Dollar Tree and I just cut them up in individual pieces by one or by two. I'm not decorating for fall yet, but I am starting to do my crafts and I just have a storage bin where I start adding all of the crafts that I do make. Um, that way I can have them ready and see what I'm going to have or what I need to make or purchase um, by the time fall comes around. I think this is one of those wreaths that you can use all year round or even just for the holidays if you like. I especially like because it, it's 
I guess you could say more like a unisex type of reef that you can add a bow of a pop color for spring or you know even add some gold ribbon or red ribbon for Christmas so this is one of those um, reefs that I'll be keeping and storing to use all year round um, in different random areas of my home. And just work your way around the reef. Make sure you do add not only on top, but on the sides and the middle area as well. That way it can look nice and full throughout whichever area or whichever way you look at your reef. So once you're done adding all the different greeneries that you have and you're happy with the way it looks, then you can start um, adding your pine cones or berries or whatever you choose to add to your reef or you can just leave it as is. Here I am adding some greenery to the side, that way when you do look at it from one side angle, it still looks full and the greenery is all wrapped around. So once you're done, again, just keep an eye on it, make sure you like the way it looks, then you can just start adding the pine cones. Now these pine cones are a mixture of some that I just picked up from um, a walk of a trail where I live, and some of them also are from Dollar Tree. I decided to add my pine cones all right basically in the center of my entire reef or where the greenery is at, but you can place them randomly wherever you like. I just thought it looked more of a modern style if I added them straight in a straight line. So once you add your pine cones, just hold on to them for a few seconds to allow that glue to dry just a little bit, that way it won't move around. And I just played with the pine cone sizes that I did have just to see where they looked best, at least where I thought they looked best, and that's where I decided to glue them. So once I was done, this is the way it looks, and I just went ahead and grabbed some wiring jute twine, and I decided to wrap it around on one side in order for me to hang it on my door or even on a bookshelf and there you have it i absolutely love the way this turned out so organic and natural um like i said i think it's more of a rustic farmhouse style but you let me know what style you think this looks like i hope you enjoyed until next time you guys stay blessed bye